after the 19th law trial. I'm not sure that that's been done on a completely separate press event. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, we invested a lot of money in this, uh, in this midlife fresh in for this car. It just shows our commitment to this uh, category. It's still very robust. You know, compact class cars are still selling well. And uh, we, we did do quite a bit to it. So typically, in a midlife freshening, you change plastic parts because they're relatively low investment. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but you can change the look. It's kind of like changing a, a few uh, accessories in your wardrobe uh, without changing your actual suit. But in this case, we actually invested a lot more. We had invested in a completely new front sheet metal, all new front lights, grill, all the bumper. Uh, we also invested in a new deck lid, completely fresh, completely changed rear view. Just to give you an example of what kind of investment that is, a hood stamping might cost 14 or $15 million just for the tool. That's not for all the work to develop it. A fender might be $18 million per fender just to invest in the tool. So that's why manufacturers are generally very, very reluctant to put a lot of money in a midlife brushing. They'd rather just change the accessories like the headlamp or the tail lamp or maybe a grill. That's about all you get. In this case, we uh, changed the entire front clip, new fenders, new hood, uh, we changed the deck lid, we changed the entire rear look as well. Uh, we changed the design of all the wheels, the 16 inch, the 17 inch, and 18 inch wheels have all been completely changed. But even more importantly, we've uh, committed to safety. And you'll hear, uh, half of you heard about it this morning uh, with our uh, Safety Sense technology. So it's our package, our suite of safety features. We're adding a similar suite of safety features to this car. Uh, because it's such a price conscious uh, category, uh, it's on every car standard except for the very base model. So for those people that just seek price above all else, uh, it will not uh, be standard on that base model, but every other model, it'll be standard. So that'll include uh, forward collision avoidance assist, uh, lane keep assist, uh, driver attention. Uh, we've been, we've uh, completely redesigned the center stack uh, with new navigation and a smart drive mode. So with that, let's uncover it and we'll talk about it a little bit more specifically. Miles is our model today. I don't like his legs. So this is a world debut. This has not been seen anywhere in the world. So this car is the number one selling car in Korea. Uh, so you're seeing it before it's being seen in Korea. I'm not sure if Jim's going to force you into embargo. I don't know what he's doing again. No embargo. No embargo. No embargo. No embargo. No embargo. Jim all the stops today. So I'm going to talk to you about a little bit of the technology you're seeing upcoming models from us. So we have this light guide technology. It actually, when you turn the lights off, it turns into chrome. So it's basically a one-way glass technology that gives it a very modern look uh, during the day, but also gives it a very advanced look in the nighttime. So this light guide technology, you'll see on some upcoming new models in the next few months. It's very expensive, but it allows us to give the car a very fresh and technology-rich uh, feeling to it. Uh, I don't know, I just call 